Okay, so back a few hours now. First lesson out of the way. Spoiler alert, I didn't crash, but it went horribly wrong. Before I tell you what happened, let's go back and start the day to see how it panned out and what led up to, yeah, my first experience not being so great. Okay, so we're just leaving London at the moment, heading to Blackbush Airport, uh, which is near Camberley. And today marks the first of my pilot training to get my private pilot's license. This is something that has been years in the planning, working with this charity, Aerobility, and I'm super excited. Didn't get much sleep last night, but it's just, you know, this really is a dream come true for me. I've been a bit of a, an aviation enthusiast, let's say, for many years. Growing up as a kid playing flight simulators. Peace, 122, Angel, nine. And like, I'm, I'm not the sort of anorak that sits outside Heathrow and, you know, spots all the planes coming in. It's like, oh, there's a, an Airbus 737. It's like, nah. But it, it just, for me, it really piqued my interest. When I did a, a charity flight a couple of years ago, and when I took the controls, it was just this real liberating sense of freedom that I got from flying. And I know I completely understand why so many people with disabilities um, learn how to fly and um, are pilots, because it allows us to sort of extend our independence and, and to have this sort of freedom in another aspect of life that you can't realize in maybe day-to-day -day situations. So, oh God, this is just, yeah, absolutely buzzing for this and can't wait to see where it goes, so. Climbed onto the wing of the aircraft, got into the, the cockpit and got myself sort of strapped in and sorted out. And then we went through like a pre-flight um, checklist, which all pilots do on every single flight. So you're you're checking a lot of things in terms of the airlines, the um, rudder, that everything's moving, um, checking all your sort of master switches, your fuses. Um, and, and you go through this sort of pre-flight check every time, just in terms of safety before you um, go airborne. So as it was my first flight, Mike took the controls uh, for takeoff and it, it was pretty cool actually because he, he really gunned it uh, coming onto the, the runway. And as soon as we took off, this is where things went wrong. We got hit by a massive bit of turbulence and my stomach literally went into my mouth and I was feeling, oh, I just had this real moment of anxiety going, uh-oh because I do get really bad seasickness. And I was just thinking, I really hope I'm not on the road to disaster here. So we, we got airborne and we started doing a couple of maneuvers. Um, you know, Mike was letting me take the controls and um, testing me to do a few different things with the aircraft and put it into different positions. And the more I did it, actually, the worse it became. This was a really windy day and yeah, it was not ideal flying conditions, especially for the first time. But we we were about five miles out of Blackbush Airport and I just turned to Mike and I said, no, look, I'm really sorry, but I'm feeling very queasy here. I, um, so we, we turned back and I've got a confession to make. The sick bag may have come out. It wasn't too bad though. Made it back in one piece. We landed, and 
honestly, I mean, I'm sitting talking to you now after about five, six hours because for four hours after, I had still been feeling really, really ill. I mean, the nauseousness was just not gone away. Well, you know, made it back, I drove back home, but not a nice experience at all. And it's, uh, you know, fingers crossed, next time round, I'm going to be fine. I've just got to try and research some motion sickness, anti-motion sickness sort of devices. I know there's a bracelet or something you can get, but um, we'll see. There's got to be something out there, uh, I hope. So yeah, so that was it. Um, first flight, not good, bit of a disaster, but onwards and upwards, um, you know, just have to suck it up, get on with it. So you'll you'll see the next next instalment um very soon. But uh yeah, next up, next episode on the vlog here, we're actually gonna be at Goodwood um filming Team Brit. And I'm really excited because this weekend is gonna be really exceptional. Three days of filming, um, cars racing around tracks, hooning, donutting, supercars. It's gonna be pretty epic. So stay tuned. If you haven't hit subscribe already, do um, hit that button, like, and uh, comment if you want to see me get up to any other mad, crazy stuff. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers. Mm-hmm.